salt palmetto has been around a long time. Native Americans and uh, early American and North American settlers used it to treat all sorts of urinary, uh, uh, male urinary problems and treating uh, prostate problems. In fact, in the American Journal of Pharma Pharmacy in 1879, Sal palmetto was a medication that had a lot of history behind it. However, in the 1920s, the pharmaceutical industry moved in, uh, clinical trials started, and physicians, particularly in North America and Canada and the United States, stopped prescribing medicinal plants, including sal palmetto, and started prescribing pills, uh, pharmaceutical pills. So it declined in North America, but at the same time, it was rising in Europe. So, Hmm. Two primary forms of salt palmetto. There's the typical one that you buy in your drugstore. It's the most common salt palmetto that your patients use. And basically, it's nothing but a ground berry powder. And it's from the uh, salt palmetto uh, American dwarf uh, fan palm tree, northern Florida or southern Georgia. And it does not have a lot of fatty acids. Then you have the uh, liposteroidal salt palmetto extracts, either hexane, CO2, or ethanol. And this is where you actually get the fatty acids. And we know that it's the fatty acids that are absorbed in into the prostate cells that affect prostate disease to two main mechanisms, 5-alpha reductase in inhibition within the cell and a de decrease of production of inflammatory mediators and other inflammatory pathways. But you know, in vitro, it also inhibits muscarinic and alpha-adrenergic receptors and has anti-tumorigenic uh, qualities. There's two guidelines, the European and the North American. In North America, we say that their sal palmetto shouldn't be recommended to our patients, yet of course they spend hundreds of millions and even over billion dollars on sal palmetto despite that recommendation. Well in Europe, based on long-standing use and experimental clinical trials, they do recommend it for LUTs secondary to BPH. The reason is, is in North America we had two clinical trials, the STEP trial and the CAMUS trial, that were negative using a CO2 uh, type of salt palmetto, type of salt palmetto that we can't even buy nowadays. And in Europe they have a hexane extracted uh, one that shows in multiple randomized placebo controlled trials to be effect effective. Now there's multiple trials, but I just want to go over this one um, paper that was published in uh, this year, it was actually three papers, it was a compendium of over 60 clinical research studies of which I didn't even know about 27 because they weren't in English. There was 33 in English, there were 17 placebo-controlled trials, eight active comparator trials, and in all those comparator and randomized placebo-controlled trials there were three negative trials, the two North American and one in Europe. And the overall body of evidence shows, and this isn't a very good slide that I've excerpt, excerpt from the, uh, the data slide, but it shows that we get symptom improvement, quality of life improvement, and even QMAX improvement uh, just a little bit below the alpha blocker range and the 5-alpha reductase range. And this analysis of over 60 um, stu individual studies worldwide show that salt palmetto extracts are safe. Now, there are many more salt palmetto observational studies out there, but in this particular trial, it had to be a um, liposteroidal extract. The fatty acids had to be um, known. They had to be more than 20 patients. It had to be longer than eight weeks. So in a consensus meeting that we recently just had in the fall, a number of, uh, we had a number of, you can see the people that were on the panel, we felt that it's safe to use um, salt palmetto in BPH, in BPH LUTs. We also felt that it should be considered as a treatment option for men to mild, moderate BPH LUTs as an alternative to watchful waiting. Now, let's go into prostatitis, something dear to my um, heart. And these are papers that I've been involved with over the last couple of years that tell the story. The first is that we all realize that the prevalence of this disease is quite high. 3% of men over any one year uh, complain of prostatitis-like symptoms that are bothersome enough to go and seek medical help. We know that chronic prostate inflammation predicts symptom progression in patients with chronic prostatitis. And this is from the REDUCE trial. We know that a randomized placebo-controlled trial using a COX-2 inhibitor that we don't have available anymore, Viox, did improve patients with inflammatory type chronic prostatitis. We know that the, at least the hexanic extraction in Europe 
does reduce um, prostate inflammation, very strong evidence. So you see, we've got a story here. It's prevalent. It has to do with inflammation. This, this product reduces inflammation. However, when we did our systemic review and meta-analysis, we could not find the real solid evidence from randomized placebo-controlled trials to actually substantiate that, um, that sort of claim, even though there were a lot of small observational studies. So the, 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 um, sort of the jury is still out until late last year. This particular trial, one of the, the first very good uh, trials looking at the safety of serona repens or salt palmetto extract in chronic um, non-bacterial prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome. And the clinical response was very good compared to the placebo response. It was, appears to be effective, safe, and it's clinically superior to placebo. Now what about prostate cancer? Well, in prostate cancer, sal palmetto should be the ideal candidate to prevent and manage prostate cancer. Can I go back? How do I go back here? Right. No? Right click. Right -click. And then previous, yeah. and then right click, and previous. Why is it an ideal candidate? Because the, in the basic sciences, it works on 5 alpha reductase inhibitor like testosterone and finasteride. It inhibits DHT binding to androgen receptors within the prostate. It's anti inflammatory. It inhibits the expression of COX 2. It inhibits prostate growth. It inhibits proliferation and induced apoptosis in both epithelium and stroma. I'm even getting excited about prostate cancer, and I don't like prostate cancer, but it looks good. It significantly decreases pathological tumor grade, tumor incidence in, in, in most prostate models. It inhibits the volume of LN cap tumor xenografts in nude mice. I don't know if that's important or not, but boy, it certainly looks impressive to me that this should prevent or be used to manage prostate cancer. However, the only really positive study is a systemic review, nutritional studies that um, Mark knows all about, that supports a high uh, phytosterol intake, which is inversely related to the risk of cancer, and this is a uh, phytosterol. But in a large study of over 35,000 men in Washington, saw palmetto intake, no matter the dose or the duration, had no impact on the incidence of prostate cancer. As far as preventative trials, there's none of note. Treatment trials, none of note except two, where radiotherapists use it to try and reduce LUTs associated with uh, radiation th therapy for prostate cancer, and both of those studies showed no effect. So, where are we now as far as salt palmetto extract for prostate disease? I think it is um, a, a valuable uh, medication or alternative therapy for men who have mild to moderate disease. They're not really interested in taking the pharmacological route. Their symptoms don't warrant surgery, and they're looking for something else. If you're going to recommend it, you've got to recommend a liposteroidal extract. You, and I think the CO2 um, uh, hyper um, CO2 extract is probably the best. There's a number that are USP uh, um, approved. That's what they should be on. Rather than the stuff they're going to end up buying and spending a lot of money on, the really fancy stuff at the health food store, which is just ground berry powder. As far as prostatitis is concerned, I was a little sad about that, but now I'm a little bit happier with that um, that uh, trial that came out, and I will recommend it for patients that are looking for alternative therapies, along with the other ones that I use, such as uh, quercetin and uh, bee pollen extract. And as far as prostate cancer is concerned, unfortunately, as far as most of you are concerned, um, you know, about prostate cancer, sal palmetto does not play a role uh, in 2022.